Alright everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. I know I've been a little inactive the last couple days. I apologize for that. I haven't been feeling very well. I've been sick to my stomach. Been having constant headaches. I know everyone, oh, do you have COVID now? I don't have COVID. I feel actually kind of bad for you considering Chris Chan is kind of like the original person to make fun of on the internet in a way, like the original lol cow, I think is what they call him. Chris Chan is actually so well known and well documented online that they have earned the moniker the most recorded man on the planet, basically, because of how deep, I guess, the internet has dug into this now girl's life. Chris Chan is actually transgender and has a 58-part YouTube docu-series, basically, about them. Uh, so, you know, like those 40-minute episodes on Netflix where they, like, you know, go into depth about something? Yeah, there's a 58-part one on YouTube that somebody made. That is who we're talking about here. There's so much information about Chris Chan and their life at this point that I don't even really need to do any explaining. Like, you probably know, you know, Sonichu and all this other stuff. So, some pretty disturbing, to say the least, stuff came out about Chris Chan. And uh, it's probably one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. Because this is so morally depraved and disgusting, and I don't understand how you can, like, even mentally justify doing something like this, but... Chris Chan basically uh, had some audio leak in which she admitted that starting in late June of this year, she's been having a sexual relationship with her mother, uh, who is, I think, around 80 years old and also apparently is suffering from an extreme case of dementia. So dementia is, uh, it's actually, I guess, a group of issues that cause, you know, problems with the judgment part of your brain, problems with the memory parts of your brain, so... It's pretty common in older folks. Uh, you probably have at least heard of somebody having dementia in your life. And so I, I think just the fact even that we're talking about an incestuous case here to begin with is already completely fucking disgusting. If that doesn't add on to it, man, uh, then you really just must uh, stoop pretty low. So I'm going to go ahead and play some of this leaked audio for you here. I'm going to warn you, it's it, it's enough to make you want to vomit. It, it's honestly disgusting. Uh, if you don't want to hear the audio, I have provided chapters on this video so that you can skip it without feeling like you've missed out on anything because we're going to talk about it afterwards anyway. So feel free to use those below. And uh, if you want to hear the audio, here we go. Um, so yeah, she's got really... G-spot because apparently I don't believe her. I don't believe that Mr. C, any of her past boyfriends and ex-husbands, they haven't really reached and hit her G-spot really right. in their dicks. Right. They haven't. They have. They were more focused on the <coughs> themselves really, as opposed to focusing on her, which that's my focus. Um, so we still have Magic Chan and Grisel to dance with. You always have them. I don't know, okay. Uh, the incest fanfics have come true and shit. But, um, how did you approach her? I approached her with care and caution. Mm -hmm. And it was a time, it was a time approach. So I just gave her comfort and talked with her. And we just branched out slow and steady. And then I, then I, heard, and I encouraged her positively. Let her make the first move. She wanted to do it. Oh, she did? Really? She made the first move? Yeah. King. What was the first move? Uh, uh, I don't remember. It's, uh, well, that was her first move, but my approach was... Hmm, I forgot exactly what, what, termino what terminology and approach I used, but I approached the care and caution. That's good. And I was, and I was, most, and I was direct and up front with her for the most part. That's good. I don't remember exactly what she said, but it was kind of, it was, I think she was partially confused at one point, but, but then she came around, obviously, with the more approaching, with the more approaching that I was uh, doing with her along the way. Uh, I'd say it was satisfactory, it took a while, it took a few tries to... It took a few tries, yeah. She is, she is older. And plus, uh, also, she's very understanding about the whole thing as well. I was direct with her, still direct and honest with her. And I made sure that I, yeah, obviously, I'm never going to propose marriage to her at all because we're already daughter and mom. Yeah, and mother and daughter. But, um, not, too many, not too many others at this, at this time, but, I mean, obviously, uh, with uh, my affirmations, I'm, I'm attracting my twin flame. And we 
we proceed towards it more slowly. Uh, so you heard the same thing that I heard, I'm assuming there. That is probably one of the most absolutely insane recordings I think I've ever heard in my life. So basically, this is painted as some sort of, like, mutually beneficial, uh, consensual relationship between Chris Chan and her 80-year-old dementia-ridden mother, uh, but... If you use even any sort of brain power whatsoever, you can quickly come to the conclusion that this is not a fucking consensual relationship. Let's go ahead and get something straight here. Even if this was a consensual relationship, we are talking about mother and biological son turned daughter. This is not an acceptable relationship of this type regardless, okay? There is no justification, unless you're the last two people on planet Earth, and that's the only way you can repopulate the human species, maybe. Even then, it's still gonna be questionable, you know what I'm saying? Like, you cannot get away with behaving this way. This is like some, like, next level, psychotic, just, you don't give a fuck type of thing. But then you add on the fact that this is not only an 80-year-old woman, which is fucking disgusting in its own right, but it is also your mother, which is triple, not quadruple disgusting maybe. And then you add in the fact that this is clearly unconsensual considering the fact that this woman has a fucking mental disorder or disease or, or issue or something that literally causes her to lose her memory and not even be able to judge things correctly. And Chris Chan is like describing it as if it's like a fucking good thing, right? It's like, yeah, well, we're, we're both kind of enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? We, we took it slow. She was a little apprehensive at the start. She, you know, didn't really want to do it. But then, you know, I, I was basically able to coerce my dementia ridden mother into this. Like, it's just fucking absurd to even try and wrap your head around, to even try and understand, because there's literally no way for a normal person to contextualize this and be like, yeah, this is acceptable, this is cool. Now, I've seen a couple defenses for Chris Chan kind of popping up uh, very, very seldomly, thankfully. This is kind of a situation where I think most people definitely agree that this was fucking foul regardless, and something needs to happen. One of them is that he is autistic, which is true, Chris Chan is autistic, that's been a very huge, I guess, part of the entire saga to begin with, if you know anything about Chris Chan. But using autism as a defense of essentially committing repeated sexual assault, keep in mind that according to Chris Chan in this leaked audio happens every three days starting in late June. And if you schedule it out correctly based on the audio happened literally fucking yesterday as of the time of me recording this audio, you really don't get to use, hey, I have autism as a defense. That's just my opinion. Especially considering that Chris Chan is considered high functioning. Chris Chan has held actual work in the past. I'll be fired from Wendy's from my understanding. But that doesn't mean that this is some sort of excuse or defense. You can't really excuse or defend somebody doing this regardless of any situation. I mean, there's no way to just, you know, brush this off because of a mental issue. There are millions of autistic people, both low and high functioning, all around the world who do not resort to fucking assaulting their family members repeatedly in their elder ages while they're suffering from their own mental fucking issues, okay? So, no, let's not defend people for horrific behavior because they have problems. This is a person who's been able to maintain an online persona for well over, what, like a decade at least? A decade and a half, maybe? Is able to create poetry and complex characters and whatnot up in their head, but you're telling me they don't have the mental capacity to hold themselves back? from committing fucking assault on their mother of all people. I'm sorry, I just don't, I, I don't bite that. You know, that, that, that bait doesn't work for me. And another defense that I saw was people need to mind their own business, which is completely fucking absurd in my mind that this would even be something that people use as a defense in order to uh, justify or brush off what has actually happened here. We are talking about somebody openly admitting that they are committing repeated sexual assaults on their elderly, dementiated mother, if that's even a word, and they consider it to be a pleasant experience that they want to keep doing is worrisome enough. The fact that it was leaked audio says completely more than that. So no, they're, they're, you do not get to hide behind the mind your own business card here either. When you're fucking victimizing other people legitimately in life-ruining ways, 
there is no, you know, defense for that shit. Chris Chan may be autistic, but Chris Chan also needs to go to fucking jail or to a mental institute or something. Some sort of punishment has to be laid down here. I mean, you can't just let people like this get away with doing this kind of shit. This is completely immoral and disgusting on every level possible. We live in what's supposed to be a moral-guided society that's advanced beyond fucking prehistoric caveman behavior. We aren't, you know, six ape humanoids starting our first species, you know, having to fucking actually stay within the bloodline in order to reproduce. This is not what we're talking about. It's just fucking disgusting, dude. Like, the, the more that uh, the details are kind of, you know, making sense slash connecting and piecing together, it's just absolutely absurd. I mean, uh, I, if it makes it better, at least he's not considering marrying the mother of his that he's assaulting, so... Honestly, I don't know the way out in this situation. I, I don't know how this gets resolved. I, I don't know if the police become involved or if the internet forgets about it tomorrow because something new happened. I don't know. But regardless, something genuinely needs to be done here. This is absolutely fucking reprehensible. I think that's really about it for this video, though, you guys. Um, Yeah, with that being said... If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel, follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. make sure to check out Shop Opti down below, and uh, check out that Chris Chan documentary series if you haven't, it's pretty good, and with that being said, until my next video guys, this is Optimus, well, just stunned to, to say the least, I mean Chris Chan really, uh, really ruined a lot of internet history I think, and signing out.